In a country where Arnold Schwarzenegger can become governor, you can of course also become president, Oprah. But I kinda understand why you don't feel like doing that. Still, with your very first endorsement of a presidential candidate, you're closer to the political arena than ever before. We are now still almost three months away from the primaries, and Barack Obama is becoming more popular by the day. I want to know why. We're in the car with Miss Childs, because of her, an old chant from the days of the civil rights movement has started a second life. Excuse me. Hello? Hi, Jamie. What are you doing? What are you doing today? Well, I just called the house for you to get the phone. Well, well, guess what, honey? We are very important people today. <laughs> we are with a camera crew going to Aiken. Yeah, to, like going to Aiken? Why? Yeah, to see uh, Senator Obama. Does he know you're coming? Yes, he called me. What day was it? Was Thursday, it? Thursday. So you have personal phone contact with Mr. Obama? Yes. He called me on my cell phone. Wow. I didn't believe it was him. <laughs> <laughs> I said, look, don't play games with me. You know, I don't have time to play games. He said, Miss Childs, this is Senator Obama. I said, don't play games with me. <laughs> what did he say? Well, he said that, do you realize that you are a popular uh, lady? You're a celebrity? I said, I am. Turn this cell phone off. Turn this cell phone off. Yes, ma'am. And I would think is the idea that the American dream is a thing of the past. But if we keep on the path we're on in terms of our economy, it's not going to be there. George Bush keeps on saying how great the economy's been over the last six years. It's been good if you're a corporate CEO. Because you make, some of these folks are making more in 10 minutes than y'all are making in an entire year. The top 1% has done very well. Wall Street's done very well. Main Street has not done so well. Immediately after we enter the high school gym, Obama is notified of Miss Child's arrival. He starts telling the audience about the moment he met her, a few months back, at a small and kind of boring campaign event. Somewhere here in Zorris. There's this little lady standing there. She got a big hat. And she's smiling at me. She says, Find up! Ready to go! And it turns out, after about a minute or two, I'm feeling kind of fired up. And I'm feeling like I'm ready to go. So I said, Join the mirror camp. So now we've been traveling all across the country. And I tell this story. And everywhere we go, we had 25,000 people in New York City. I asked them, are you fired up? And they were all fired up. And I asked them, are you ready to go? And they're all ready to go. Now here's the point of this story now. It shows you one voice can change the room. And if it can change the room, then it can change the city. Because we decided to play, that's what we're 
first time seeing Obama in person. Really? Yeah. Because he's a, he's impressive. Wow. I have to admit, Oprah, I'm starting to see what people mean when they say an Obama speech is energizing. Everywhere around me in the gym, I saw so much excitement on people's faces. And we too feel fired up and are definitely ready to go. But, um, Lucy isn't. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Heading for the west. Blue sailing. All right. Why? 